Dude, man. Do you know Potato Head from Toy Story? I'm not Potato Head, man. I'm Tomato Head. <laughs> Look at this line. Two hours, two and a half hours, full blown in the sun. Not ideal to have no hair. <laughs> Oh, so funny. So we are now enjoying this coffee, which only means one thing, gym time, baby. I'm still a bit sore from yesterday. What well, the plan is, we're gonna hit a back workout, obviously. We're gonna push it because we wanna build that thick back. Then I'm gonna chill out today, let my legs rest. Maybe just go on the bike, you know, on the spinning bike to get some blood flowing. We'll see what the day brings. Let's quickly discuss plan of this week because it's Monday again. Strava data is back to zero, <laughs> but it's telling me that we did 64 kilometers last week. That was perfect in terms of my goals. I said I wanted to do like 50, 60, was aiming for more like 60, so 64 is great. And this week, uh, we're gonna do probably again like 50 to 60, something like that. Next week, taper down 30 to 40. Then we got one week left, then we're just going to do like five or 10 Ks. One run, like a chill, chill one, and then it's already the marathon because we're three, three weeks out as of yesterday. So 20 days today means two more weeks of like higher volume, or at least this week is going to be the last week of high volume. Yeah, so relative higher volume than usual. Probably going to do the same as last week, just a couple of chill runs, five, 10 Ks during the week and then one longer run on the weekend, Sunday again. And hopefully not as horrendous as the one yesterday because that felt like yeah, I was running a, I don't know, freaking ultra marathon, like 50Ks. It just felt endless, man. I was running forever. Yeah, let's hope that the next one is gonna be better and we should be prepared for a marathon. I don't wanna do a, hard speed session I'm, i just feel like it's gonna gonna be a bit too taxing on my hip flexors they're quite okay now i don't feel them too much uh, they're recovering and getting back to normal and they held up with this volume of this week so i want to keep it like this because i noticed every time i did like hard speed runs and pushed it for a pace yeah it just killed my my hip flexors so we're gonna leave that for the marathon and just kill the, the hips then. So yeah, and then that's it. So this week, all more or less chill runs. Yeah, zone two runs. So keeping that heart rate below the 150 and that's it. So we're at the gym. I'll catch you in there with the workout with the nasty back session. Let's go. That wraps up that pull session, back session. Did some biceps at the end. Didn't film seated curls because I only have like 3% battery left here. Pump was good. Intensity was great. Happy with the session and we're headed home now. Fuel up, eat. We're out here, baby! <laughs> yeah! I decided to go for a run. Uh, just a very, very chilled recovery run. But it was raining, or it's still, it's drizzling. And it's cold. And I just felt like going out in the rain slower than my 
easy pace. So really just recovery run, half an hour, and that's it. But it's beautiful when it's raining, the sound in the woods, something just very calming to it. So enjoying this here. And just like that, 30 minutes are over. Recovery run is done. I'm feeling great. Stats, 34 minutes, 5.23 kilometers, 632 average pace at an average heart rate 136. That was the goal. Keep the heart rate low, just really chill and jog along 136. I was happy with, the, or happy that the pace turned out somewhat okay um, but main goal was was the heart rate and we uh, managed to keep that low and i also don't know if there is such a thing as an addiction to sport but <laughs> if so man i'm happy to be an addict uh yeah i mean don't don't lie to me every time you go out or you move your body afterwards you just feel so much better it's a dopamine that kicks in it's just something meditative about going out and moving the body, getting the blood flow. It's just, I don't know what, what it does, but every time, man, it feels so, so uh, replenishing and you just feel so good. Um, maybe I just have problems deep down, <laughs> who knows? And I'm just trying to, you know, run away from something. Who knows? And you know, sometimes I don't even have to get stronger in the gym or run faster. For me as well, there's days where I just go in or go out uh, just to get it done. But in general, just to also heal my soul. <laughs> Sounds a bit deep, but... It truly is sometimes just about, you know, getting it done and having that meditative effect. Don't know what it does, but yeah, it don't, or I don't always get stronger. I don't get faster, but sometimes it's just about me getting, getting better. So get out, get your body moving, especially if you're not feeling 100%, you're tired or you're not feeling like it, get out, get up. I believe in you. <laughs> you can do it, man, and you'll feel a thousand times better afterwards. So, was it? Enjoy your day, morning, evening, whatever. Love you, and see you tomorrow. Peace.